Hello everyone, good night. And in honor, in honor of uh, of Mario Kart, Justice League, would be there, would be coming out on the night, uh, which is Friday. Friday. Uh, I'm going to be ranking. I uh, the CEO and uh, F B A S or uh, F the movie forget was great. I love that. I would want to watch it. Uh, a the the movie was uh, was good. I would be watch it, but it could be. Better, uh, there are some discrepancies in the movie, uh, but if all, overall the movie B would be the movie was okay. Uh, I would if, if if it came if I was in like a a at someone's house and that movie on TV, I would watch it. Or if I was uh, at the airport and that movie came up, it was the only there. I would I would watch have that, uh, but I wouldn't go by myself to uh, go on openly watch it. I wouldn't. Do that. Uh, so for C. Uh, C is the movie was okay. Um, it 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 could better. There were some like I would watch it. What what is this? Uh, uh, it 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 didn't leave as it it was. It wasn't eh. uh, for D. It was bad. It was a really bad movie. Uh, and if uh, it was, it was it was bad. And F is much worse. The first movie that we're doing is. Wonder Woman 1984 and this one was I would say it was a good movie I would say it was an I would say it was an okay it it, it left me uncertain when I first watched it I liked it but then when we watched it, it left me right. There were so many plot holes that were not answered. Like, uh, for example, uh, like wishes that the, the Gotham. Uh, I don't remember the name of the thing that that gives you wishes. Like, why couldn't it just be in your body from the sea forever? And just uh or because at that point it had already created like a huge wall like missiles so there, there was really no like point to be uh taking over another person's body which also that part made me cringe because it made you question Morality, because she basically took an. So I'll put this movie at a steep. Uh, the next one is Suicide Squad. First Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad was. Uh, I watched it once. Never watched it. When I first watched it. 
I didn't really like it. They, I felt like they were doing too much in one movie. Uh, so Side Squad also came out during the time when Deadpool came out. And because of that, DC wanted to really emulate Deadpool in the Suicide Squad movie. So they redid the entire, entire script that was already done for, for that movie. So based on that, it, it was it was bad. <laughs> there, there's no there's, there's no Really, really, really bad. It just it, it had a lot of explosion. I like the, the the concept idea that they were going for. I hated the the fact that at the beginning of the movie, you could they 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 they, they, they didn't show you like the story of the characters and how they came. Like, or at least like just like a one small scene. Character, they, they, they basically told told us who they were, what powers they had, and a, a little bit of backstory. It was complete, and I hate. It. And like, but to to be doing that for a good uh, part of the beginning, but really bad. I also didn't like the Jared Leto Joker, and I'm really glad that uh, Jared Leto gets a new ch- a new chance for Justice League. It's not a cut movie. From what I've seen of the one clip that they showed of the Joker, he looks really good, uh, especially in an ap- another kind of like apocalyptic. Uh, environment that they were that, that, that they were in it looks that I've, I've also seen the pictures of like the joker jeans that was very controversial um so yeah i would put this movie at birds of prey birds of prey birds of prey i would it was really good I liked, I liked the, the narration of Hardy Quinn, and like, uh, like, I like, I like the fact that the narration sometimes didn't make sense because of the character of Hardy Quinn, who is sometimes like a maniac, so you don't really know what she's thinking. So it sh- it, and that is showed through the narration of the movie. And that just puts you into the movie even more. And it doesn't, the narration doesn't take you out of the movie. So that, 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 that was a good movie. I, I like the plot too of like Hardy Quinn just uh, wanting to separate from Joker and be her own self, basically. I'll put that as a D. Ooh, a D or a C. Is it the same as one? Hmm. Is it the same as one? Uno Man 1984 versus Bridge of Prey. Hmm. I would say. It was better. It had, a, it had a better story. I'll put one of my next at D. It had a it had a much better story than one of my Shazam. Shazam, I really like this movie. <laughs> I really like this movie. I love the, the superhero slash coming of age slash family theme that they had going on. This movie, like Zachary Levi, played a really good. Men child uh, that came onto that came onto powers and that was still a child and was just trying to grow uh, with his powers and trying to find his family. And yeah, he played a really good Shazam. 
Um, I really liked how Billy Batson was just a kid that came up with powers and through his powers found his time. So that, that's like a nice theme. You don't really see um, a lot of superhero movies uh, that have the theme family, especially if you're like a kid that young trying to play a superhero, trying to be a superhero and trying to mature enough that he can be with his family and go to school and be a superhero while fighting supervillains. So I'll put this at a Uh, at S. I would rewatch I I'll put this on I really liked it. This is just my opinion. It's not um it's not um uh, the actual ranking list. This is just my opinion. You can have your own opinion on the ranking of the Justice movies. But I would put Shazam at an S tier. Oh alright to Wonder Woman, first Wonder Woman. The first Wonder Woman when it came on screen, it was a breath of fresh air. I was really wondering how they would put off the um from someone who dresses in a dress with the uh Amer American symbols on her who fights uh God and monsters and flies in an invisible jet. I really liked it. Um, although at the end, the end uh, went on a little bit too long because when it was supposed to be like speeding up, like the tension and the drama was to, of the plot was was like climaxing, and it, it just slowed down because. Um, of the talking between Diana and that took me a bit off a little bit but I really liked it um I would rewatch it again I put that as a also one reason I did I didn't I, I noticed I didn't say that I didn't like uh about uh Wonder Woman 1984 is that uh, is that uh, he they also they also don't they don't really pay off or explain how she like how does like if they had just added a little scene at the beginning in her apartment where she tries to make like a coffee cup or a book visible. And then when they go to the airplane and she just trying in the, in the plane, just trying, and they go to the Smithsonian and she's just trying in the plane, then it would feel more satisfying. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay, the next one, Aquaman. Aquaman was, it was good. I liked it. Uh, I liked what they were trying to do with it. Um, the actor uh, seemed to be really enjoying what uh, what what he's doing, he's playing. Um, yeah, Jason Momoa. This is really to be enjoying what character is playing. You can see it in uh, Justice League. You can see it in Icon Man. Um, he... The movie, the movie, I would watch this movie. So that's put, that puts it above C tier. I would watch this movie again. Um, it has a nice, it had a nice block with uh, monsters, uh, fish, uh, and special effects were amazing. Um, 
It also... It also... What else about this movie was good? Um, it was also like a sort of coming of age. I like I, I I liked it. I'll put this movie at B. Put it on an A. Ooh, hard. B or an A. Aquaman. Uh, okay, Men of Steel. Men of Steel was again. I really, I loved the film. First time I saw it, I'm back when. I, lo- I really love it. I love the take that they were, they were going with uh, for uh, that Jack Tanner was going with um, during, the, during the movie. I love the greedy Superman and then the 21st Superman. Um, and I like, also love the physical aspect, no, not physical, psychological aspect they were going for, like the question of like, who should he be when he grows up and what should he do with his powers? So he follow his father's example and not use his powers or follow everyone to the camp. Not everyone, i see. Or expose his powers and use his powers for good. Um, I like, I just loved it. Like I've rewatched this movie like multiple times, and like whenever I'm the I'm on the plane, I always watch it. So I just love this movie. Uh, although there was so much distraction. so much distraction, they could have just went on ocean or. Wow. Or like the desert and fall. What fighting me? Like I don't know how many times that Metropolis has been destroyed, rebuilt <laughs> during, uh, during uh, like, Man of Steel, EVS, Justice. Like I don't know how many times he got, got. But um, I'll put Man of Steel at the. I put men of steel at the hmm. Men of steel. Men of steel. Who? Who? It'll be between. Tier and A tier. What's going to feel strong? Does that mean a complete storyline? And I still, but also also the complete storyline. Also, I I like the uh, the ending of Man of Steel. like the way they were taking like Superman choose between saving that one family, that last name. Or, uh, or, uh, was it, or killing Zod? Like, that's a hard choice. Because once you kill somebody, you don't, like, you, you come back for that, but it's hard to move on from that. Uh, I also like the idea. The idea to focus on Clark Kent. Like that. I love this guy. Put it at S tier. It was it was better than one. 
first one off. Uh, or also, uh, this one just... Okay, let's do Justice League. Justice League. It was. Eh. It was a. Eh. Well, it, 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 it had a lot of expectations. So there is there was that. But also like DC, come on like all the fight be behind the scene that was happening for the movie. You could really see it, like the Whedon version. Like they 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 really like destroyed like Zack Snyder's version, which was really a dick move. <laughs> but um Yeah, just to speak, I would put it on the same level as one of Just, just because I like the I like the visual. It 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 reminded me of like an anime, like Justice League War. That's that's what it reminded me of. Like literally the entire time I was watching it, I thought like it, it was a cartoon. If if it was made into a cartoon, that would that would be it. <laughs> that would be it. If it was made into. Um. So yeah, I I put it at D. Uh. What else? What? Oh. Um. For the last one. No. Let me get this straight. Uh, first BBS that came out, Momo Edition, it was, it was a bit long. I watched it with my mom and my mom literally fell asleep the entire time. <laughs> oh, that was fine. Um, they really woke up right before the Batman vs what's happening and she just asked me she just asked me Mandy uh, what's been happening bring it to me <laughs> so, that, so that that was that was fine but Batman v Superman it was boring it was boring and it also the way to fight I, I won't say much on it but like the way the fight ended it was like when 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 Superman was like, three, and Batman was like, "Who's Martha?" Didn't make sense because Bruce Wayne is still running from like his. So if Superman had just said, "Save my mom" or "Save my mother," then would have got like a flashback of when his parents were killed, and that would have been enough. Batman pause and super have Superman. I he was saying to save his mom, and that would have been it. That would have been the end of the fight. That's like that's a, that's like what I didn't understand <laughs> what's happening. You know, in the in the, in the, in the movie, like why they did like who in the right mind at this moment when you really need to save your mom. Say, it says your first mom person in favor of my mom. Like, you don't say your mom first name <laughs> like that. Um, but the if it's the ultimate, ultimate edition had context. Uh, I love the ultimate. Why I watched it for the first time last week. I loved it. Even though it was longer, I really love the um, the extra stuff that were in it that explained the context of like some of the stuff that were missing in the original version. So for this one, I put it at for the ultimate edition. I put it at eighty. You can cry at me <laughs> if you'd like. But I'll put it on the same level as one ultimate edition. 
if it was if it's like the original version, I put that at C tier. Original version. But the ultimate edition, I put it at A. So yeah, that's that's my um review ranking. Uh, Shazam and Man of Steel S tier. Wonder Woman, BVS, A tier, Aquaman, B tier, uh, Birds of Prey, C tier, Wonder Woman 1984, Justice League, D tier, and Suicide Squad, F tier. Um, yeah, I, I think that Justice League is one better than Suicide Squad. That's how bad I think it was. But yeah, if you like this, this video, click a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below. If you want more ranking, the the top ranking, see your characters or the top rank, um, DCE animated movies or the top ranking, DCE, uh, not DCE, the top ranking Marvel uh, shows or movies. I also be, uh, I also have like a which now that I'll be, uh. Games like um, Ancient Impact and so that that be fun. It's the Twitch. My Twitch is Gman Gman DG. Um. So yeah, hope you guys join it. It's gonna be every Sunday. Thursday. So, peace. Thanks.